Hi guys, this is Rob from the Facebook Mock Audio Bridge Support Group. I want to tell you about the number one myth keeping people from getting treatment for myocardial bridges, sometimes life-saving treatment. And it's the myth that myocardial bridges cannot really cause serious symptoms because they only squeeze 15% of the time, right? It is true that the heart only squeezes, they're called systole, 15% of the time. But the truth is that after that artery is squeezed, it does not just pop back open for the other 85% of the time. Like a garden hose, if you've ever stepped on a garden hose, you know that hose, after you take your foot off, it's very slow to open again. So uh, the other 85% of the time, it's not open all the way. And in many patients, it's not even open uh, most of the way, okay? Some patients, that artery opens so slowly that they never get full flow ever in the entire heartbeat cycle for any percent of the time, let alone 85%. So um, this is a serious misconception. There are patients out there, especially when you have high heart rate, tachycardia, right? If you're elevated heart rate, and some many people do, 150, 200 beats per minute. Think about what that's going to do. That's going to keep compressing the artery and slamming it shut, 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 even quicker, even more frequently, which is going to reduce the time even further that the artery has to uncompress. So now we're talking about an artery that's not only compressed, uh, but then stays compressed sometimes almost all the time. It's in a state of near compression. There are myocardial bridges patients out there on our site. We have 1,500 people on our site who have 20% uh, of the blood getting through there or less sometimes. It's, it can be serious, okay? So that one-two punch, it's really bad when you have a myocardial bridge plus tachycardia. It's really a problem. So... Um, we need doctors to understand this. This is keeping people from getting unroofing surgery, which is, you know, it's it's not that complicated of a surgery, assuming it's not that deep. Um, and uh, even if it is deep, it's been done. So we need we need to sing it from the mountaintops. We need doctors who understand this. Um, we've, we've published it again and again and again on our Facebook site and our Twitter site. Dr. Schnitger from Stanford has gone on BBC radio to explain this, that the artery does not just pop back open right? You're not getting full flow for 85% of the time. And in many cases, you're getting less than 50% of the flow for almost all the time, okay? So um, we need to have that spread far and wide. I invite you to come to our Facebook site and join the 1,500 people on there. Look at the Frequently Asked Questions document, the, the pages and pages of studies we have. Um, we have doctors on there from University of Chicago, Stanford, Cleveland Clinic, uh, Pakistan, India, uh, around the world. We have doctors on our site and nurses too um, who are there to uh, get the patient experiences and also hear the scientific information we disseminate. I invite you to come on board.